Hallelujah. I welcome you today to the broadcast of the prophetic word and prayers. I am Pastor Mark Akiti. We thank God for today, Monday, being the first working day of the week. Today, the 27th of September. We we'll give God all the glory. This is a very special week. The week starting from September is going to end in October. The transition week. This week, God will do a miracle in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Oh Lord God Almighty, we thank you for this special week. We thank you for your awesome presence. We submit to you, God, that we cannot face this week alone by our power. And we request that your presence we go with us into this week in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As you begin this week today, the Lord goes ahead of you. The scripture before us is Psalm 68, verse 1. It's a popular scripture and it says, Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. When God arises on your behalf, all his enemies are scattered. When God arises on your behalf, everything that opposes you is scattered and today i want us to i want you to focus on some of those things that opposes you they may not be big 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 mountains they may be small things but as long as they oppose you they are an enemy you want to carry out a project and you are not getting permission. You need documentation for that project to get through and you're not getting it. Whatever is opposing you, it's an adversary. It will be scattered. It has to give way. Or you're having a project and funds, money is not coming to execute that project. Deprivation, lack, has come in as an enemy. God will arise and scatter it. You need good health to do what you need to do. And if there's any form of attack on your health, when you're sick, you can't do anything worthwhile. Sickness then becomes an enemy. That's why we're saying today, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Whatever will come in into your life as an opposition that will be a hindrance, that will be a form of limitation. Those are the enemies we are confronting today. They, they may be little, little things. But as long as they confront your moving forward, as long as they stand as an obstacle to your upward movement, they have to give way. That's why we declare today, let God arise. And let all his enemies be scattered. Whatever is a problem to you as you begin this week today, God's resurrection power is coming into your life and all those things will be scattered. All those things will be destroyed. They will be uprooted out of your way 
in the name of Jesus. As you pray today, I want you to pray. As thank God for His mercies, thank God for saving your life, thank God for saving your soul. But search your life and ask God for forgiveness of any sin, any way you will find that God. Ask God for forgiveness. Then ask Him on your own. Ask Him to arise. Mention those areas in your life. There may be little things as I've said. Mention these areas of your life where you are having opposition. And ask God to scatter those things. You began this week with those things, but you are not ending this week. With whatever is an obstacle on your pathway. In the name of Jesus. I declare over your life today. In the name of Jesus, everything standing on your pathway to progress gives way right now. Whatever limits your upward movement goes down for you right now. And anyone making pronouncements or utterances to lock up your destiny to make your effort fruitless today they are uprooted out of your way in Jesus name any enchantment any incantation against you against your loved ones against those close to you against your children against your family today those enchantment comes to nothing in Jesus name for it is written and no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that shall come against you in judgment you shall condemn we condemn every incantation every tongue everything said against your progress we condemn them we destroy then right now in Jesus name Amen this week will be good for you this week will be a testimony week for you this week will be a week of divine favor for you this project ahead of you receives power to be actualized now I release the anointing of completion upon you upon those projects now in jesus name somebody wondering how am i going to pay those space i decree miraculous provision for you now in jesus name that situation in which you enter into this week and it looks an impossible situation i decree divine intervention now at the end of this week all those things that look like a redo we have been sold in jesus name somebody listening to me right now whatever is an area of ridicule in your life i bring in the blood of jesus into that area that ridicule is turned into a miracle in your life right now in jesus name thank you lord thank you father in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah 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 i pray for somebody today if you're sick in any part of your body want you to lay hands on that part where you're sick right now and there is no distance in the spiritual realm and there's awesome power in god to heal every sickness and disease so lay your hand at that point where you're sick right now oh lord i pray in the name of jesus where this your son this your daughter is laying hands right now i ask lord that you stretch your own hand upon their hands and release your healing power upon them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet i declare them healed now in the name of jesus thank you father 
for it's not by might, it's not by power, but by your spirit, Lord. Thank you for doing it. We give you all the glory for the testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't face this new week without Jesus. You need Jesus all the way. And if you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to take that step by making this confession alongside me, with me. Make this confession with me. Say, Oh Lord, I come to you today in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. Today, I accept Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my personal Savior. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. Praise the Lord. Salvation is as simple as ABC. If you have made that confession, you are born again. I rejoice with you. The angels are rejoicing with you. Hallelujah. If you want to get in touch with us, you have a prayer request, you need a testimony, call our telephone number plus 234-8058-000-442. Or you can send us an email, God that answers by fire at gmail.com all in small letters and we'll respond to you god bless you this broadcast is available on the telegram platform if you are not already on telegram join telegram and search for our name on telegram prophetic word and prayers is our name on telegram search for it and join the channel and you'll be receiving this broadcast on the telegram platform this broadcast is also available on youtube our name on youtube is flamites television search for flamites television on youtube and subscribe to that channel and once you upload these messages you will get the notification on youtube god bless you I want you to share this message with everybody in your group, your family, your friends. Share this message to them. Let it be a blessing to someone today. Be God's extended hand to touch somebody with a message of encouragement, a message of hope. And God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Until I come your way, tomorrow morning. Remain blessed. Shalom.